All right, now I'm on the back of the homework, P134. Let's get to it. Okay, three friends are sharing the cost of a bucket of popcorn. The total cost of the popcorn is $5.70. Write an equation that can be used to find the amount A in dollars that each friend should pay. Okay. So, uh, since we're dividing it amongst the friends, we're finding the quotient, so we need to have a division in here. And we know it equals is 570 for our final answer. Uh, cost of the bucket, they want us to use the variable A. So we gotta use A, we can't use that C. So we take the cost Write an oh, I'm sorry. Write an equation that can be used to find the amount A dollars each friend should pay. So, well, there's a few ways we can actually do this one. Um, we want to, to find the total so we could divide or we can multiply. The way they set it up though, since it equals 570, we're actually gonna multiply three times the amount each one pays to give us 570. The way I was thinking of doing it was 570 divided by three equals A. Both of these equations would give us the correct um, amount for A though, okay? All right, number two, Salama had 42 photos on her phone after she deleted some of them. So that tells me she's taking them away. She had 23 photos left. What equation could be used to find the number of photos P that she deleted? So she had 42, that's what she started with. Then she deleted, so she took away some, we don't know how many P, equals and she has 23 left there's my equation all right number three a rope is 72 feet long what is the length of the rope in yards well i'll give you your conversion to help you set this one up um, three feet equals one yard so now that you know that you can solve this by dividing 72 by three and this will tell you how many yards you have. Okay, Julia evaluated the expression 3 to the third plus 20 divided by 2 to the second. What value should she get for her answer? Basically, it just means solve this. So 3 to the third, that means 3 times 3 times 3 plus 20 divided by 2 to the second means 2 times 2. I'll let you use the order of operations to find the value of this. Okay, remember order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Multiplication and division are tied. Okay. Number five. The sides of a triangle have lengths S, S plus four, and S three times S. Write an expression in simplest form that represents the perimeter of the triangle. So perimeter plus, we have to add all these up, okay? And uh, so let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five S's, because this is three S's, one S, one S. So that's five S plus four, okay? Uh, number six, Gary knows that P equals two and a half is a solution to one of the following equations. Which one has P equals two and a half as its solution? So here you're just plugging in. So everywhere you see P, you're going to plug in two and a half and then check, see if it is the solution. Okay, P is two and a half. Do the math, check it. P is two and a half. Do the math, check it. P is two and a half. 
do the math, check it. Circle the ones um, or rewrite the equation that is correct at the bottom here. Okay, I'll let you go ahead and do that math. But again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, raise your hand. Or if you're on YouTube and you're not in my class, you can post a question. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.